Yeah. What do you uh, What do you stream? Everything. I'm not lying. I'm Plug it, dude. I'm you got a captive it. audience. It's like twitch.tv forward slash Vance underscore EX because somebody already took EXE and I swear it wasn't me. I forgot my password. That's it. Just follow me on Twitch. All right. And with that, we say goodbye to Vance and hello to K9 and Tater Nader. Now, a lot of you, if you've been following WNF for a long period of time, you'll remember the CONCON -Con and K9 rivalry that happened on a regular basis at WNF. Uh, this one, I consider to be on the same level, I would say. Uh, maybe not quite there, but these two players have played each other a lot. And, um, oh, here he comes right now. Now, Tater, as, as we mentioned at the very beginning, does tend to enter Lethal League, so I probably we were waiting for him to finish a match or, or something like that. But K9 is already committed to Wolf. I've seen him try out Joker in this matchup, but I think he's sticking with Wolf. He likes Wolf in this matchup. These games usually uh, get pretty close, so strap in, boys. We should be in for a good one. And the winner of this plays Suga in winner's finals. Very exciting. Tater is always rocking the windy, and K9 going with the red and black. Wolf. Now, both of these characters are characters in this game. <laughs> yes. So, windy in this game uh, again was buffed. Has. That forward air is, is crazy and will beat out Wolf's forward air, even though that move is pretty insane as well. Uh, Wolf always has that laser to fall back on if it uh, feels like Tater is just kind of camping him out or not approaching. Uh, to put pressure on Tater to come after him. Uh, but, you know, the, uh, the side B that Tater has as well uh, is a can punish that, you know, say K9 shoots a laser and heads, and, you know, at, at the round level, then Taternator can throw out the clown car and jump and throw out the clown car and just leave a huge punish. Uh, so just kind of one of the mi micro actions, in actions if Tater uh, can space himself out, right? Um, that's in this matchup. So Tater is off stage here. Uh, one of the things that K9 is very good at in this game and the previous games is ledge trapping. Uh, so Tater doing a good job to get around him off the ledge there and actually secures that kill there, uh, living to 160. Bowser Jr. has a crazy ability to survive in this game. Uh, it's very heavy. Or, uh, it's, the character is surprisingly heavy, I should say, um, but not heavy enough to survive that. Uh, sorry, K9 is taking a lot of damage here, but Wendy's ledge trap options are not quite as good as Wolf here, so uh, Tater not really able to capitalize that much off getting him off stage. Up smash, sends him around, okay, good advice there. Up smash and sending Tater off stage. And a down tilt, putting Tater in a bad spot. He uses a jump, and K9 calls it out. He's waiting, he's hunting at this, the ledge here. Uh, tries to catch a run in with that up smash. K9 is hunting for this kill right now. He's not being too aggressive with looking at it. He's just trying to trap K9 here into doing something stupid and getting hunted for it. And it looks like K9's gonna get clipped by that up smash. Very unfortunate for him as he is now behind in this game. And Tater is putting on a lot of pressure here. He finally finds his way in. He's going to land a few up airs. Uh, K9 almost at 50 here. Goes for the up smash. Uh, gets punished by the F smash. And 
K9 is at 76%. He's about to die here. Uh, lands that back air, but K uh, Tater with the excellent DI there and the air dodge. Gonna make him live just a little longer here. Will he be able to do any more damage? No, he's going to get clipped by that F tilt and sent off stage. It's last stock here, but uh, Tater doesn't need a whole lot to finish this off. But, geez, K9 is popping off right now. He's just in uh, Tater's face right now. He's got his, his, his wolf combos going. Um, but now, Tater managed to find a single opening here. This could be what he needs to get his footing in. And this. But K9 uh, sort of managed to reset neutral here. It's like, who catches that landing there with the clown car. I'm not going to lead into anything else. Or. Uh, for Tater here. Tater just spacing fair right now, trying to catch some kind of aerial approach from K9, but K9 is not doing that. He's just sitting back shooting lasers. He knows that Tater is playing more passive right now and says, you know what, I want you to approach me. And wow, the percents are almost even here. This game is so close. We are last hit scenario right now, and the fair Calling out the jump, so close. Good stuff to Tater, he's gonna take the first game in that matchup with Windy. Alrighty, game two, will we see the Wolf and then Bowser Jr. again? Yes, we will. Like I said, Tater, uh, K9 deep pockets, but I think he's pretty much settled on Wolf for this matchup, so I don't expect to see him change. Okay, Tater landing with that drill. Uh, kind of a wonky move, but it, it, it can be a good mix-up for a landing option. Because um, it catches some players off guard. Uh, goes for it again there. All right. Try B. Gets the down tilt, such a goofy move with the tongue coming out. Uh, but goofiness will not win Tater today. He is down significantly right now. He managed to land that clown car though, and he is almost back in this. Uh, but Wolf lands two back airs, and it's over. Nice read there from K9, catching the, reading the jump, landing the back air, getting that kill, and now he's sitting pretty right now. But Tater has a few openings here. He's landing these fares, just taking up all this space, making it so hard for for uh, him to approach. And nice recovery from, uh, or nice gimp from Tater there. He uh, and he did a great job of recovering to avoid K9 and make it uh, you know, so uh, you know so that K9 could not find his way back on stage. Tater. Uh, Downer's very punishable, but you, know, you kind of have to expect it. Uh, it's a, like I said, decent mix up from Bowser Jr., but you get punished hard if K9 reads it. Uh, Tater's using a lot more of these fairs and bears. Uh, I think K9 needs to play a little more grounded right now if he, he wants to get. Here. Back air. Okay, gets a grab. K9 is off stage again. Finds his way back. He's gonna get hit by the clown car, but it doesn't matter because that's a terrible trade for Tater. Okay, K9 finding his way back again. Okay, Tater trying to get the up smash like before, but K9 is not going to give it this to him this time. And Tater is now pressuring K9 at the ledge. That's the punch. Uh, that does push your opponent away quite a bit, so Wolf really isn't, I don't think, able to punish it, or at least in that scenario, K9 did not go for a punish. Uh, and, yeah. It, uh, K9 must have seen the previous games because he is using the reflector every time uh, Tater goes for that. Uh, Mecha Koopa off stage. Uh, Tater, of course, getting that snipe last. I think it was against. I 
actually don't remember who he's playing, but he got the snipe with the the, the Koopaling off stage for the kill to close out uh, the winner's quarters, or at least the game before that. Anyway, Tater at 120, he's going to have to work hard to get this set next this set. Uh, okay. K9 landing the, the Nair to dash attack. Confirm there. Nair. Again, Twitter's just doing a good, a good job of controlling the air, but uh, Wolf just is very, has a very strong advantage state against this character because uh, Koopa is, I mean, uh, the Koopa kids are so slow and they're pretty big. You know, they just kind of struggle when Wolf gets that hit or gets them in a bad spot. Uh, and Tater now sitting at 210%. Anything could kill at this point. Uh, and Nair is going to be the kill move there. At that point, you know, it's really hard to get back against a wolf who's good at lich trapping and can kill you with just about any one of their options. Uh, and yeah, K9 just using Nair to cover pretty much, I mean, uh, cover, cover multiple options at that point. So, Cater was in a really bad spot there and could not escape. So we're going to game three here. Exciting stuff from both of these great competitors. Alrighty, we're getting into this game three right now. And uh, no blood drawn yet until that grab to the up throw. And uh, okay, interesting combo there. Apparently you can get up throw to fair to forward tilt as wolf on Pokemon Stadium using that platform extension. And 70% right now. It's still a close match right here. Both of these players are very evenly matched. Okay, back air, sending K9 off stage again. He's air dodging. K9 goes for the F smash. Full throw, K9 dodge. Tater in a bad spot, like before. Tater. Wow, not getting punished for that clown card. It is so hard to get an attack off on him when he is in that sort of free fall thing because uh, Bowser Jr. has uh, a lot of, uh, has a very big attack with that when you go into free fall like that. And uh, N9 didn't want to get killed there. Okay. Yeah, so any, most, any hitbox will beat out that clown car. So you saw um, K9 going for that Nair there, and it did, in fact, beat out the clown car. And uh, Tater going for some crazy shenanigans off stage. Once you go for the clown car, you do get extra jump. And uh, we saw Tater go for it twice there. Uh, you can actually stall for quite some time with this character. Okay, going back to neutral here, guys. And now, uh, Tater not hold, being able to hold on long enough to have that Cuba detonate on K9 offstage, but it's not gonna matter. An unsafe dash attack will get punished by Tater, and now he is the one with the lead here and at the magic percent, uh, at least for that moment there. Grabs, days. Uh, okay, Tater, yeah, wanting, of course, putting huge emphasis on grab here. Uh, he wants the grab with the early percent because of crazy combos that that Bowser Jr. gets at early percents by crazy. I mean, up air, up air, up air are something that can win him this game. And Tater, uh, can I rolling his eyes back as he gets hit by that F smash? Clearly frustrated with that loss. Um, but if there's one thing I know about K9, he will keep fighting 
for you, uh, for SoCal, for himself, for you, for me. Never stop fighting, K9. Never stop fighting. Anyway, getting into game four here, Taternator only needs one more game to close the set out. If K9 wants this, he's gotta win this game and the next one. And we're only in winner's semis, people. The winner of this plays against Suga. Yoshi main, who just recently beat T3. Now, once again, we're starting off this match very passively. Uh, not either, neither player really wants to approach. Yeah, Tater going for a lot of these dares, maybe trying to catch uh, K9 trying to shark or get under him, but uh, quickly moves to a separate strategy. That doesn't work. I feel like that's also a mark of a good player. Someone who's just like, all right, this didn't work. Let's just keep. Let's try something else. You know, not really, un not really phased by it. Able to kind of adapt and change their strategy. And K9 able to mash out and then air dodge so the Koopaling does not explode on him. Uh, very smart. Uh, smart. Uh, just showing your K9 knows how to get out of that situation. Um, a, a lesser player would have you know, gotten hit by the Koopa or you know, gotten grabbed or something, but K9 losing another stock here. He's getting more and more frustrated right now. Don't let it get to your head, K9. Alright, Uppy. Going to punish Tater. Uh, K9's getting hit by the jab. Okay, nice bait there from uh, from Tater there. He Z-dropped the Koopaling that was in his hand, and uh, K9 was waiting for him and threw out the reflector. But uh, because uh, Tater Z-dropped it, he was able to throw out in there and send K9 off stage. And the Koopa car not quite going to kill there, actually. That move, that move has a lot of knockout, but it sent him to the opposite end of the stage. Fortunately for K9, he is still alive here. And Tater rolls on stage, gonna get punished. Tater taking a little time to collect himself and decides to just wait and see if K9 uh, will do something stupid. But that is not the case. And K9 is firing back here. Tater gets Clown Car, stalls out. He's gonna get kicked. Can Tater find his way in here? He just needs a single hit here, just to finish it off. There. Okay, yeah. K9's just trying to stuff out some approaches from Tater. Maybe hoping that he'll be impatient and just run into one of his nares with a clown car or something like that. Uh, throws out the laser. It's punished. This is a lot closer than before, but now K9 taking a lot of damage. That wasn't good for him. It's thrown off stage. That ledge. Ooh, he's Kenny. The jump gets called out. And now Clown Car again. Not gonna kill. Cater shoots the the cannon the wrong direction, but mistakes like that aren't going to cost him that much. He's got such a lead right now. He can afford to do something like that. Uh, K9 cannot. One mistake here will be the curtains for him unless Tater chokes here. But K9 psyching himself up as he gets that up smash. Well, he's already at all, almost 100%. This is a bad spot for him to be in, but he's going to get a huge combo here or not. He gets a little greedy with the punish and, and uh, Tater survives and reacts correctly to that situation. Oh, another dash attack getting punished, and K9 will be going to losers. Now, Tater and Sugar is your greater grand finals at this point. 